Hi, Atul Gopal from Plugin India, and we are yet again with our yellow favorite Ola. And today is a special day for us because uh, we are working today with the Lesix channel, where uh, they have been doing a lot of animated videos on engineering, uh, Teslas, etc., etc. And we're going to try to tell you how our friend the S1 Pro actually works. And a warm welcome from Plugin India to the viewers of the Lesix channels and welcome to our channel. We hope that you enjoy this video and you can also have a look at other videos in Plugin India which mostly are connected to electric vehicles. The Ola S1 Pro has a very futuristic look. The monocolored panels offer a fluid design. The iconic headlamp has a personality of its own. The ergonomics are very good for a long distance ride. The seat tapers quite a bit near the front hinge. The seat's higher width could be a bit of a problem for folks who are sub 5 feet 5 inches and who are straddling the seat. When you peep into the rear wheel area, you find that they have done a neat job of fitting in the components there. You can see the motor straddling the width of the scooter just in front of the boot. These snug fits can only happen when you design an electric scooter from the ground up. Many owners of the Ola S1 Pro have had falls and have realized that quite a few panels go kaput when the vehicle falls on its side. The current lean angle makes it dangerous especially if you are parked on an uneven soft surface. Another disadvantage of the side stand is when you have to park at malls. The scooter takes up the space of one and a half scooters in parking because of the tilt when it is parked on the side stand. One solution we can offer is to make the scooter more upright when it is parked on the side stand. The better option of course would be to install a center stand accessory. Another thing that jars is the way the rear disc brake is stuck in next to the driving belt. It does make the rear wheel very easy to remove. But accessing the disc to change the brake pads or remove stones that may get stuck will be a problem. If there is one takeaway from the design language, it would be beer crate. I remember the Etago team taking that as the starting point for designing the scooter. These beer lovers needed a machine which would fit a beer crate inside. Etago was probably the first scooter that started by first deciding the boot area and then building the rest of the stuff around it. That kind of vision is important. The boot is spacious. The vehicle has serious under seat storage and it is going to be a killer app for the vehicle. The 250 strong engineering team at Ola Bangalore has been putting their minds to redesign the vehicle for Indian conditions. Like three idiots and five point someone, there is a significant Indianness that has seeped into the Dutch Etergo design. Unlike the plastic monocoque Etergo, the Ola engineers have added a frame in which the battery is now housed. The tunnel at the front below the handlebar is due to the legacy of the original Etergo plastic monocoque design, where it would have definitely added to the structural strength. It is functional even now as the wiring harness runs through the tunnel. But we would have been happier with a flat floorboard. The 5.5 kW mid-drive motor delivers enough torque to keep most folks at bay. The throttle is designed to be non-linear so you don't get a jerky ride. It takes its own sweet time to kick in, but once it does, you vroom. This means that you are usually not the first of the blocks at traffic signals. A bigger disadvantage is when you are turning on inclines with pillion at low speeds. You experience a significant loss of power. Situations like these demand more torque and the Ola fails to deliver there. Some recalibration of the controller is definitely required to send adequate power to the motor when riding on inclines. The battery pack of the Ola S1 Pro stores 4 kWh worth of energy. The entire system is a 72V system. Most electric scooters sold in the Asian markets are based on 48V or 60V systems. Higher voltages mean lower currents and lower losses. The original design had three swappable batteries, but the Indian one has three non-removable ones. Only a single BMS. There is an airflow issue around the cells and the design should be reworked for Indian heat. The chemistry used in the cells of the battery pack is NCA, lithium, nickel, cobalt, aluminum oxide. The lack of liquid cooling of fans in the battery pack will lead to safety concerns as hot weather temperatures are common in Asian countries. 
Lithium ion phosphate battery chemistry would have been a better cell chemistry for the Ola S1 Pro due to its high temperature tolerance. In our testing, the scooter delivers a range of around 130 km when riding in normal mode. That number will go down if you ride in sports or hyper mode. The Ola tips the scales at a super heavy 118 kg. The weight sucks when you are maneuvering in traffic jams or parking lots. But Ola's defense is that most of this weight is close to the ground. The motor sits low, the battery is under the flow, the lower center of gravity helps in handling and in high speed turns. Also the vehicle rides over rough roads better because of the additional weight. In our testing, we hammered the scooter quite a bit. We went over a parabolic short speed breaker at almost 50 km per hour. The bike was up in the air for some time and it landed on both feet and stayed upright. The CG also helps when you are twisting and turning in city traffic. And on the highway, the low CG lets you handle curves at speeds of 60 to 70 km per hour. Software is a huge part of a well-designed EV. The Ola S1 Pro promises to offer incredible software features delivered via a 7-inch touchscreen. The Ola S1 Pro has a full-fledged computer under the hood. There is a 1.8 GHz octa-core processor, 3 GB onboard RAM, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and GPS connectivity. The Ola S1 Pro has IP67 rated front speakers and they do sound good. You can enjoy your music as you ride. There is also a built-in microphone and switches for you to connect to your calls while riding. The operating system running the Ola S1 Pro is called Move OS 2.0. Moods and widgets enable you to customize your dashboard. This essentially behaves like the Faces feature of the Apple Watch. Then there are other software features like multiple profiles, voice control, map navigation, call alerts via Bluetooth and more. The S1 Pro also supports over-the-air software updates, which will ensure the scooter gets better with age. While software-driven electric scooters are exciting for users, it can also lead to bugs being introduced every time there is an update. We have observed many bugs reported by owners while operating the scooter. The Ola team will have to take utmost care and do a lot of testing to check all the code paths before pushing updates to users. Having bugs in a PC or a Mac is okay, but encountering bugs while riding can be dangerous. The Ola S1 Pro uses a horizontal single shock absorber. Road bumps lead to vertical movement of the wheel. Vertical shocks mean that the entire travel of the shocker can be in sync with the wheel travel. But with a horizontal design, it gets complicated. As soon as the pillion rider gets onto the vehicle, you can see a movement of a few centimeters. The springs have to be much stiffer in this mode. From our testing, we found that the horizontal shocks offer a very good suspension and comfort. Another corollary of this design is that you cannot use cheaper oil filled shocks as cavitation problems occur during the horizontal swishing of the liquid. For that reason, Ola has had to go in with costlier gas filled shocks. Our favorite feature on the Ola S1 Pro is the way regenerative braking is implemented. There are three modes of region. First, braking region. When you brake, some of that kinetic energy is sent to the battery. Second, coast region. When you let go of the throttle, you can sense the motor becoming a generator and there is a slight resistance. It does slow down the scooter, which ensures you won't need to brake. Third, forced region. You twist the throttle 10 degrees in reverse direction and the region gets more aggressive. There is more resistance and you can get to a stop faster. In our testing during a 5 km ride, we never once touched the brakes. The magic of region is incredible. This is the way an EV is meant to be ridden. The regenerative braking feature of the Ola S1 Pro resembles the one pedal driving in an electric car. This feature is not available in any other electric scooter so far. We thank the Lessix team in creating beautiful animations on the workings of the Ola S1 Pro. This has enabled the Plugin India team to understand the scooter better. For more engineering focused animation videos, we encourage you to subscribe to the Lessix channel. The links are given in the comments below. Do subscribe to the Plugin India channel to understand the Indian EV industry and community. Do share your thoughts on the Ola electric scooter. We would love to read your opinion. Thank you.